it's currently 61 degrees here in Southern California. It is windy as hell. Uh, I'm here in Calabasas and today I'm going to be talking about my five recommendation beginner mods for a Jeep Wrangler, specifically the Jeep TJ, although you can kind of crossfit some of these with the other generations. But let's get into it. I'll put the description of each item that I bought in the li and the links down below. And uh, tell me what you think or if there might be better ones or better alternatives. Number one exterior mod was the LED headlights. It modernizes the car, it makes it look new, it makes it look nice, the lights are brighter. It's actually pretty inexpensive. So these I actually got for about, uh, I wanna say, it was on sale for $90 and with 20% discount, so it was about $78 or $80 I wanna say. Little tip and trick to save you from getting flipped off from putting the lights too high. There are little adjusters on each side this side and one on this side make sure that you test the headlights in your driveway before you actually take it out on the street because as i was blinding so many people my headlights were pointing towards the freeway signs that's how high they were i had to adjust them i've gotten the middle finger many times because i didn't adjust them and it took me about two weeks to kind of figure that out after looking online and seeing what the issue is with the lights it wasn't the lights that they were too bright it was that the little adjusters were offset. Fix that issue, didn't get the middle finger, haven't gotten the middle finger in a long time. So that's a little tip if you're gonna get these headlights. Number two, if you wanna take the doors off, you have to have mirrors. I got these bad boys right there. So, as you can see yourself, these mirrors are very inexpensive. They're about 35, 40 bucks. And now I can legally take the doors off. Legal in quotations because most Jeep owners don't even run mirrors on their cars. And uh, they don't get pulled over. I've ran it without mirrors several times. Don't get pulled over for it. However, don't risk it for the biscuit. Peace of mind. Really, peace of mind. My third favorite mod has to be my steering stabilizer because one, it just helps a lot when it comes to steering and everything. It helps reduce a lot of the bump steer and for me it's like more of a peace of mind the old one was rusted out and not that great uh this is my third time getting a rough country and i've never had an issue with it it works just fine it's very inexpensive and uh yeah this is probably the third best one especially if you're going to be using the car quite often my fourth favorite mod has to be these rough country seat covers yeah these are so comfy especially if you're going to go on a long trip these are about, uh, I want to say 150 to 180. And just the material, the durability, I've got some mud on that one on the other side of it. But they also just update the interior of the car. These are the Sahara seats, so they're tan on green. You know, I'm not opposed to tan, but the black does look good and it does come with rear bench seat, seat covers as well. And this is the second time I've gotten this car. I've had three Wranglers and I love it I honestly would recommend this seat cover to anybody else. Yes, they're not the cheapest thing, but they are Probably one of the best things you can do for yourself Especially if you're gonna daily drive the car or if you're gonna take it on a long road trip Which eventually I will do with this car hopefully to Utah So one of my favorite mods that is aesthetically pleasing to me and kind of useful is my grab handles. I love the color blue. I'll give you a quick glimpse and you guys kind of know if you don't. Blue is my favorite color. I love blue. More specifically a Lamborghini uh, Blue Nethens aka Monterey Blue or Porsche Sapphire Blue. So I got these blue grab handles and I actually have to upgrade these. I'm going to put the new ones that I'm going to get. So, I'm going to have to get new ones. I'm going to have to get ones that are um, rated up to 330 pounds, which are about the same price, honestly. It's fine. So, I'm going to add in one extra mod because it's not necessarily on the Jeep. Um, and it's kind of a preference thing. So, I kind of have the choice to upgrade the speakers on the soundbar. It, it's like I'm upgrading them to just listen to the radio, okay? I'm not gonna pay extra for a Apple CarPlay radio head unit. 
to get the speakers upgraded with the subwoofer I don't imagine to be inexpensive so I've actually just managed to use my JBL flip 4 speaker and I can use my Bluetooth Siri works fine on it my maps works fine on it and when I call people they can hear me just fine thank you all so much for watching I hope you guys really did like the five beginner mods that I did for my Jeep Wrangler um, again it was the LED headlights the exterior mirrors so you can run the car without the doors the grab handles the steering stabilizer, the rough country seat covers, and as a little bonus, if anyone wanted to, you have your exterior JBL or Bluetooth speakers, so to say. So please like and subscribe. I'm going to do more of these, and I'm also going to give a update on the car, what I've done with it, and continue on from there. But thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I hope to see you guys in the next video.